everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today is triple play day. We are still in quarantine, so we are still practicing social distancing. And so I am gonna start this triple play. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a whole new ball game for the three of us because first of all, we're using somebody else's pattern and we're not using pre-cuts. So we have these books at Missouri Star that are called Three Yard Quilts. And a lot of times, maybe you don't have a pre-cut, but you have some yardage laying around. And these quilts, like this one behind me, takes three yards, and that includes everything, all the blocks and the borders. It, it just includes everything. It's three yards, so it's one yard of light, one yard of medium, and one yard of dark fabric. And so it's kind of fun to, you know, venture out and do something a little different. So for people who are visual like I am, the thing, one of the things that stops us from, uh, from using patterns is that um, we just, visually, it's just a little difficult for us. And, um, and I'm not sure why that is, because I'm an avid reader, but when I see a pattern, it's kind of like, I see wah, 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 wah. And so I'm just gonna kind of walk you through these because she has a way of writing that's really cool. She has several books, actually. You know, she has, she has all these different books and we chose this one and all three of us made a quilt out of this book. They're all different quilts, but we made it out of this book. So mine is called Jacob's Ladder and you can see that it is a traditional Jacob's Ladder block. And there's a few things that I love about this. First, the cutting instructions are right here and they're in another color. So it makes it easy for us to see we're gonna take fabric one, fabric two, and fabric three, and we're gonna cut all these things from fabric one, and all these things from fabric two, and all these things from fabric three. So I have my yardage here. I am using this Holly Taylor yardage. Sometimes, you know, we tend to kind of go toward fabrics that we love, but often we need to make a quilt for, uh, for a man or a boy, and we don't always see those fabrics. And, or someone who likes fishing, I guess I should say that. And so this is Holly Taylor's line and it is called Lake Views and Holly Taylor uh, designs for Moda fabrics. And so this is the first fabric and it's all fishing flies. And this is just kind of a foresty, ferny branch. And then we have this whole uh, yard of all the different fish, which I think is just really fun. It's fun to work with some different fabrics uh, as well. So what we're gonna do is, this quilt is made up of two blocks. They're blocks that are very familiar for, my, for us, but the sizes are a little different. So that's where you just have to follow the cutting instructions and make sure that you're doing that right. And I always say like, read like 10 times and cut once, you know, <laughs> make sure you've got it. You know, I will repeat this to myself over and over. So on fabric one, which is our light fabric right here, we are gonna cut two uh, four inch fabrics that are the width, of the, the, the width of the fabric. So that means like this, we're gonna take our fabric, we're gonna open it up so our, our selvages are on top like this and we're gonna cut two four inch strips of that. We're gonna cut two four inch strips of our dark fabric and our medium fabric. So all these light, medium, dark, they all get two four inch fabric strips cut. This, um, this is, these, we also are gonna cut a strip out of these and it's an eight inch strip of the light and the medium. And those are the only two. So your light and your medium is eight inches. And so then we're gonna put these together and you're gonna see this just comes together so fun. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna make these four patches block. And you can see they're bigger than what we usually make. And we are gonna do them with a strip set. And so what we do is we're gonna take one of our number two, which is our gold, and one of our number three, which is our blue, and we are gonna sew right down the side on that one. And that's going to make this block right here. And then we're gonna take our white, and we are also going to sew it to a blue. So your white to the blue like this, a quarter inch down, and we're gonna iron this to the dark side. And I'm just gonna show you how to make a four patch really easily. You'll make one of each color. Make sure you look at those um, cutting directions because you actually need four of the fish. And I think I told you two earlier. So just, we're gonna do four of those, uh, four of those strips, and then a blue gets sewn to a white, and a blue gets sewn to the uh, gold as well. All right, so to make our four patches, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my strip in half like this, and I'm gonna move my directions out of the way, and I'm just gonna fold this right in half because I like to cut uh, shorter distance and I like to cut less. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to cut off the little selvage edge right here, 
And then these are again cut four inches in. So we're cutting these at four like this and I will just go along and cut my whole row. You're going to need nine of each block. So here is how we're going to put these together. We have these cut and of course you'll cut your whole strip and you know your other strips. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn one light to the top, one dark to the top and we're going to sew these together like this and make a four patch. So I'm going to come right over here and do that. I'm going to start right here at this top edge sew a few stitches and then I'm going to make sure that this seam right here in the middle is lined up perfectly. I press to the dark side so my seams will nest nicely and you're going to need nine of these that are white and blue and then nine of these that are gold and blue. All right. So the next block we're going to make is this half square triangle and we do that easily because we're going to take our yardage and we're going to cut it into strips, eight inch strips like this. And then we're going to open this up and we are just going to cut those into blocks. So leave your, your strip folded in half and just cut them. You can cut them two at a time and you can stack your fabric if you want. I don't have any problem cutting through um, four layers. So if you want to put another strip on there you can. So we're cutting this eight and so I'm going to, I know this ruler is five, six, seven, eight. I'm coming over here and you're going to cut your squares just like this. And you're going to do that to all, all your whites and your golds into uh, eight inch strips because we need 19 of these and we're using um, one at a time, which means, I mean, you're going to get two from each block is what I mean. And so, uh, so you're going to actually only make nine of these and that will equal, um, 18 and you really only need 17. And then we're going to match it up with a gold block, one of our 10 inch, I mean our 8 inch blocks right here. And we're going to sew on both sides. And we're going to try to make sure our quarter of an inch stays pretty accurate. If you do, these should end up seven and a half and you don't have to trim them. I did not find that I needed to trim mine. So I'm actually going to line up my, my um, foot just a tiny bit away from the line because I have a very thin foot. You might want to measure your foot to see what size it is. But my, the presser foot on my machine is very thin. And so if, if you want to make sure it's exactly a quarter of an inch, you want to just measure and make sure. Now also I have this tape on my machine that has a quarter inch lines on it. And I can see once I get a little ways, I can see that um, if I'm on there exactly. So right here, see it pops up and if, you're, if your point is on that first line, you know you're a quarter inch away. So you can just watch that. All right, now I'm going to cut these in half and we'll have two half square triangles that are seven and a half. All righty, so let's press these open. Now the fun for this quilt really is in the layout. Uh, because it's fun to see those, um, oh, I don't know, I call them fields and furrows, see them appear just by how you lay it out. So basically, in this book, which I also love, is they have the row layout right here. So here's your guide for how to lay them out. And it shows that you're going to use your, uh, put your gold fabric to the middle next to a gold and navy block. And then you can see this is a light and navy block. And so let's put these together and let me show you how this, how this goes. And I'm going to use this as my guide. I've got a few little blocks here. We're going to take this one and then we're going to take a half square triangle and we make sure the gold is going toward the gold, just like this. And the next one is the white and the blue like this. And we make sure that our dark squares are still going the same direction. And then this one, the white touches the white. And so then we're going to start, we're going to start all these other rows. And so just by how we lay these, see that, see how this row is coming together. And then this next one is going to be this one right here and see how that row is forming. It just goes on and on like that. And so this one again comes in with the white into the middle right here. I'm way over. Let me see if I can scoot this a little bit, just like this. And then we're here. And then we're here. 
So do you see how these rows are forming? They form these long rows, and this is the traditional Jacob's Ladder. These little outer borders out here are little two inch borders, and we have them one, two, three again, and I bound mine again with the blue because I wanted that to show. And so these are really fun because it just takes three yards. They are quick and easily easy. Literally, we did these in a couple of hours. They are so fast. So now I'm gonna let you see what Natalie has up her sleeve today. Hey everybody, it's Natalie, and I am super excited about the quilt that I get to show you today. Again, like mom said, we use these Modern Views book by Donna Robertson. I think she is just so smart to put these together. Three yards, and you can make any quilt in the book, and she has several other books. And you can just, I mean, this is the best stash buster of all time. I loved it. I had so much fun. I got lucky and I got to use Tula Pink's homemade line. I love this line. It has these really cool scissors. You can see there's like a little sewing machine in this one. So much fun. They're so cute. I love them. So one of the things that I want you to remember is um, on, on these, it's super nice because these illustrations are in color, so you can see exactly which one fabric one, fabric two, and fabric three are. And then my fabrics, these are actually like two mediums, and then this one's really only slightly darker. So I just picked which one I wanted where, and I think that it turned out really cute. I love that everything she does is a strip method. It's, it makes it go together so fast. All right. All right, so let me show you how to make this block. It's super easy, I just loved it. So let me move these out of the way. Um, for the fabrics, you're gonna do, because we're making two different blocks, we have one in the green and one in the blue. These two, is a, it's a strip set of two four inch strips. And you end up making um, the same amount but, and they both have the, the dark. So you have a dark and the, the blue print and then a dark and the green print. And these are just turned. So that's how it ends up looking like that, which is really cool. So I've got these strip sets right here. I'm gonna press it back and cut it so I can show you how to put that together. All right, now in the, I highly suggest that you cut all your fabric out ahead of time. It's, it's really easy. I actually put mine in little baggies. So I had my fabric one, fabric two, fabric three, and um, that made it very easy to find the pieces that I was looking for. A lot of the stuff you're either sewing in strips or you've got your pieces cut out ahead of time. So one of the, one of the pieces that we cut out is this, it's I think a seven and a half inch strip. So when you cut these pieces, they need to be the same length as these little guys. So let me cut these. They are in a three inch. Yep, it's a three inch, and this ends up being seven and a half, same as this. So I'll cut that. And then you cut up the whole strip if you're making all your blocks at the same time. But I'm just gonna do one so I can show you. So then the way this works, and it's, it's on the diagram right here, you can see you've got your large piece here and then same color and then the dark is in the bottom right corner, just the way I'm looking at it. So it lays out just like this and then you sew it together. And that really is every block in this quilt. They're all made just like this, so easy. Press that back. I do love how she did the sashing on this. So you do end up cutting um, several pieces that are seven inches. Those are the in-between pieces. But for these ones that go lengthwise, she has you sew together a strip that has the one and a half and then the seven on this side. So cutting and piecing that it just makes it so easy. So these are an inch and a half. So I'll cut a couple of those so you can see how that looks. Oh, just trimming up that edge. There we go. OK. 
cut a few more so we have them. And then my layout, every row is the same, but this first row is then flipped for the second row. And then, so literally they're all the same. You have blue, green, blue, green, and then blue, green, blue, green. So they're just, you put that row together and then you flip that one. And they go together with, well, we'll start with the blue and that ends up, the, the dark piece faces down and then this piece just gets turned sideways. So we'll put our little sashing in there, which is just a little bit longer because you've got, whoops, let me move this stuff. So um, I don't think I brought those little pieces up here, but your bottom sashing piece gets sewn onto the block and then this one goes down like that. And this lays sideways. So it's straight up and then turned and then you just continue putting them together in that same way. I have some more, oh, here they are. <laughs> They're right in front of me. Same thing, facing up. And then I had another strip cut, here it is. And then this one sits sideways, just like that. And that is it, that is the entire quilt. Um, my borders are different sizes, so watch that when you're doing all your cutting. The, one of the things that I love about this, um, about this quilt or these books is she also gives you directions for all the different sizes. So if you wanted to make a twin or a king queen, instead of using one yard of each fabric, you would use two yards of each fabric or four yards of each fabric. So it gives you a lot of different options so you can bust that stash and make some really fun, really easy quilts. It was really enjoyable because it's totally different than what we normally do and it really does go together so fast. So my quilt is called Dominique. It's from the same book Mom Used, The Modern Views by Donna Robertson, and I loved it. And I think you're really gonna enjoy what Misty has for you. Aren't these so fun? I have really, really enjoyed these three yard quilt projects and um, I'm honestly excited to do more. Like Natalie said, it's a great stash buster and the way that Donna writes these makes it really easy. And I especially love that she has the cutting instructions where they stand out and they're easy to read because to be honest that's usually my least favorite part about reading a pattern i'm like did i read it right this the way she broke it down by fabric and away from the rest of the uh, instructions made it really easy for me so thank you donna i appreciate that uh, this pattern that i use for mine is called jigsaw and the fabric is called one in a melon by timeless treasures and i just love watermelons it's so cute um so my this quilt honestly is even easier than I thought it would be. I chose it because I thought these looked like little slices of watermelon. Um, but really all you do is you're going to start by cutting six three and a half inch strips out of each of your fabrics. This is my fabric one, two, and three. And so I cut six of each and there are, the blocks are the exact same, but you make two versions of them. So let's start with block one and that's this one here. And you can see this starts with our fabric one, and it goes one, two, three on this one, and then our block two goes three, two, one. And so they're just exact opposites of the other, but they're made exactly the same way, so I'm gonna walk you through it on this one. So to start, we're going to sew our fabric one and fabric two together into a strip. Remember, they're both three and a half inches, and then we're going to cut that. Where'd my ruler go? There it is into a three and a half by six and a half rectangle. So I'm just gonna do that right here, like so. And this becomes what we use to start our block. And so we're gonna take this piece and what she has you do is you um, sew your strips together, then you cut the number that you need. You need 12 of each block and then you just lay it on the strip to sew it together. And so you, let me make sure it would need to go this way up. And then we'll just take this to the machine and we'll sew it down and then we'll trim it. So we're just gonna 
do our usual quarter inch seam here. And remember, when you're making the quilt, you'll have lots of these. So I just laid one after the other after the other on my strip and made it go super fast. But since we're just making one, we'll just stop there. And then you just take it over here and you use that as your guide to trim. So you'll just lay your ruler there, cut that side and this side. And then now you'll press this open like so. And then we're going to add fabric three. Now the one thing you do want to note is you kind of want to orient it the same way since we're going to add our shorter piece to this side. I just make sure it matches my shorter piece of this one. And so I'll take my uh, fabric three strip and I'll just lay this on here and sew this one down. Make sure we're all lined up. Then we'll trim this. On that side and this side. We'll give this one a press. Just like so. And then we can lay this right on the same strip. Just fold it over and sew it down. These don't want to stay lined up for me. It must be the ants going every which way. Just get started and keep it going there. And again, you trim. And remember, each of these steps, you can chain piece. You don't have to stop and cut in between. And so it makes it go really, really quick. And then you just press that open and you have your completed block. And remember, you do this exact same method. Instead of one, two, three, you do this one, three, two, one. And it's really, really simple. And so as far as layout, you're just gonna alternate between your uh, B block. It actually starts with a B block in the top corner. And then you put an A block, a B block, and an A. Wait, I lost count, A. <laughs> and then the next row starts with the opposite block. And so it's really simple. You just alternate between the two um, with each of your rows. And then these borders here, we have a one and a half, a two and a half, and a one and a half inch border. And so those you can cut out at the beginning with everything else. Um, she also, in her cutting instructions, has you do, I believe it's an inch and a quarter single fold binding. We had plenty of fabric that we opted to do what we prefer, which is a traditional two and a half inch um, binding. And so that's what we did on ours. So we finished it off like that and it turned out so, so cute. These were so fun. And it, like Natalie mentioned, a great stash buster. I'm excited to dive into some of these other books. So wasn't this triple play fun? It's three girls with three projects using three yards. I think that's so fun. So we hope you enjoyed this triple play from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.